the question is, can we reach the stars? Can we literally reach the stars? And can we do it in our lifetimes? The moonshot was the climax of seven long years of intensive research and development. And it cost in today's money over a hundred billion dollars. The moon still marks the furthest point that human beings have come. Since then, we have delegated the job to our robots. Some roving across planets, some roaming in space. Alpha Centauri is over four light years away. Four light years, by the way, is 25 trillion miles. That's 25 trillion miles. Together, the star chip and the light sail give us an ultra-light, ultra-compact spacecraft. We call it the nanocraft. In principle, the system should, look, should work like this. So this was the array. This is the mother chip, mothership releasing the, the sail. This is again the uh, beamer on the ground. This is the laser beam hitting the spaceship. The mothership releases the spaceship again. Another light beam pushes it second time. And of course, the idea is to have multiple redundancy and to send uh, hundreds and maybe thousands of them to, the, uh, to one target. Over a few minutes, this nanocraft accelerates to about 20% of the light speed. This is 100 million kilometers an hour, rather miles an hour. With light beams, light sails, and the lightest spacecraft ever built, we can launch a mission to Alpha Centauri within a generation. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.